what is going on you guys i'm full and we're back here on fortnite taking a look at one of the battle pass challenges here for week number five of season six now the challenge that we're going to be looking at today is to record a speed of 25 miles per hour or more at different signs now if you guys haven't noticed around the map there are a couple of these speed signs that are on the left or right side of certain roadways you're going to be able to find these in several locations. Of course, I am going to be giving you guys all the locations that I was able to find here on the map. And of course, if you guys know any of the other locations that I don't mention in today's video, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I will pin your comment or make a big pinned comment with all those locations with shout outs to each of you guys who managed to go and find the ones that I was missing out on. But of course, with that said, let's get into all five of the different locations that I was able to find so that you guys can go and complete your challenge. Also, something that I do want to let you guys know about is right now, I don't know exactly how many of these different signs you have to go and record a speed of 25 miles per hour or more at because right now, the leaks do not exactly show us how many we need to go to. I have found five of them on the map. It doesn't necessarily mean that when the challenges come out live here for Thursday, that there will be five that you have to go to. It could be two, it could be three, it could be four. We're going to have to wait and see. However, it is good to know that there is five on the map that you guys can go pick and choose where you guys want to go to. To, to complete this challenge and so without further ado let's get into all five of the locations so you guys can complete the challenge to record a speed of 25 miles per hour or more at different signs now i'm going to try to make this easy for you and make it in a way where you guys can go and try to hit as many as you can in one run or hopefully in one match so hopefully you guys are going to be able to at least hit two or three of them within your first match if you guys follow the steps that i do of course you guys can do them in reverse but we are going to be starting off here just outside of Tomato Temple. If you guys go just under the bridge there, as you guys make your way under the bridge and over to the other side, going towards Dusty Divot, you guys are going to be able to find one of your speed signs that are going to be here. All you have to do is just go and use a boost right beside it, and you guys should be able to go and pass that 25 miles per hour mark with no problem. Of course, it's going to be a lot easier if you guys get yourself a quad crasher, so I suggest finding one if you can. If not, the ATK will be just fine. Just go and make sure you guys have the boost available and set up so that when you guys pass it, you guys can use it and then go and pass that 25 miles per hour mark. Now, for your second location, you're going to want to drive into the area that's headed towards the racetrack near Paradise Palms. As you guys can see in the gameplay here, we are going to be going along the roadway here that's just going to pass this kind of like diner on the side. And as you guys continue along the road, you guys are going to be able to see the speed sign is going to be off to your right. Again, if you guys are using a quad crasher, this is going to be very easy. Just have your boost available. Once you guys see the numbers flickering on the sign, you just go ahead and use your boost. And you guys are going to be able to know that you guys completed this because the sign will actually trigger a cop siren that's going to go off saying that you guys are going too fast basically like you guys are speeding and so you guys are going to know especially since on the left side it's going to show that you've completed part of your challenge as well so just keep that in mind it will have an audio clue to let you guys know that you guys have went over the 25 miles per hour speed limit and so by making your way to the third location you guys can still actually follow the road that is in paradise palms because there is going to be a second speed sign that you guys can be able to pass here this one is going to be basically on your way out of paradise palms basically on the way to lucky landing or fatal fields here you guys are going to be able to see that basically where this sign is going to be is just before you guys hit the gas station and just over the bridge there's going to be like two trucks on the road there you're going to be able to go in between them and you're going to be able to see that there is going to be the sign it's going to be facing the other way of course it doesn't really matter which direction you guys go as long as you pass it and speed boost across it you guys should be able to hear that cop siren and that should be enough of an audio clue to let you guys know that you guys have completed part of this challenge now for our fourth sign, we're actually going to be heading towards Salty Springs and we're actually going to be leaving it, kind of taking the road that's going to be bringing us towards the bridge that we cross, kind of going towards the factory, the disco club area, towards Flush Factory, things like that. There is going to be one on the right side of the road or depending on which way you guys are looking, it could be on your left. But here you guys can see the gameplay, I'm going to turn around just so you guys can see it. It's also going to be facing the direction of where all the rune islands are and they're not activated anymore. So there's going to be one just outside of Salty springs go over here and do the same thing go speed boost right past it and that's going to be another one for the books and then for your last and final location like i mentioned to you guys the reason that i wanted you guys to go to salty springs and then cross over to the bridge is because the last one is going to be just shortly after the bridge there you're going to be able to find this sign here near the big chair kind of on the north end leaving or coming from the flush factory there's a giant hill up there as well where you guys can complete part of your challenges you actually can find a gargoyle up there where you need to dance in front of it 
for your Fortnite Mare challenges. But either way, this is where the sign is going to be. It's basically just at the bottom of the hill there, depending on which side you guys are looking at. And you just need to go right past it, boost right past it, and you guys are going to be able to complete this challenge, which again, which was to record a speed of 25 miles per hour or more at different signs. Now, of course, if you guys know any other locations of these signs, again, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. If I see enough of these, I will make a big post, a pinned comment to the top of the video, which will give you guys all the locations of where you guys roughly need to go to. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to explain because you're not going to be able to see visual representations, but it will still help out. So if you guys do find more of these locations that I haven't mentioned in this video, let me know down in the comments below. I'll gather them all up. I'll give you guys shout outs in that pinned comment as well. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I was able to help you guys out. If I did, remember to drop a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Turn on post notifications if you're on the channel, but hit the bell icon below and follow me on Twitter to stay up to date on everything going on regarding my videos, my channel, my streams, and myself. And of course, you guys probably guessed it, we are going to be streaming the week five challenges when they go live here this Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern time here on the channel at youtube.com slash as well as over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash live. Everything you need to know is going to be down in the description below. So hopefully I'll be able to see you guys there in the stream when everything is going down. And hopefully I'll be able to see you guys there in the comment section of my videos when they are uploaded. Of course, you guys will only know when I'm streaming and when videos are uploaded if you guys have the notification bell turned on here on the channel as well as the follow button with the notification turned on over on Twitch. So either way, thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the flip side. Arts out.